Welcome to my pantry. I thought before we got started with my salsa video, video, I would show you part of my pantry wall. And as you can see, it is filled with all of the um, salsas and sauces that I did this year um, from my garden. I had a really great production of tomatoes, as you guys probably saw from my other videos. Um, and I canned many, many pints. Um, I didn't count up how, how many, but as you can see, the wall... <laughs> The wall speaks for itself. So, um, And we're just ending production here. We're getting pretty close to the end of the season, and I've got a lot of green tomatoes, so we'll wait for those to ripen. But in the meantime, I've got a big um, bushel full of some ripe ones, and we're going to do a real simple salsa recipe that I hope you guys will be able to enjoy and store in your pantry. Well, as you can see, I have everything gathered for my salsa. Um, I use, I'm not real picky about the tomatoes, um, but I do like the romas, and I do like our cherries. Um, and I, since I grow all my own peppers, I throw just about everything in there. These are all my peppers from my garden. So I will do some real nice, um, I don't know what the name of these are, but I use those long ones, I use the green peppers, I use, um, I got some of these nice black beauties, um, I throw a couple of the, the hot ones in, Got these hot, I grew my own onions, um, and then the other stuff that goes into the mix is vinegar, um, ground cumin, um, the kosher salt, minced garter, and a little bit of uh, lime juice. I have my uh, handy food processor and throw my tomatoes right in there and I let them do all the work. Just pop them up. Looks good. The way it really saves from drop it right into my stock pot. So um, along with my food processor I like to use my little ninja when I do my hot peppers and nothing fancy I just throw them all into the ninja. The rest of the peppers go into the food processor. I just use pulse to do the dicing for me. I'm not too fussy. And I put that mixture into the pot. Okay, and I think, oh, let's get our onion going here. Whew, okay, so there's the onion. Diced up real good. Now, <laughs> every time I make salsa, yeah, I throw whatever I have that's available from the garden. If it's red onions, I use red onions. If it's white, Okay, so the rest of the ingredients are really, you add according to what you like. So I like garlic. I'm going to use a lot of garlic. Maybe even put more in there. Um, the ground cumin, probably the same thing. I'm just kind of that on there. Black pepper. Like I said before, I don't measure, and I do everything according to taste. So white vinegar, white vinegar, but probably about a one third of a cup is what you're gonna need. I just kind of I. Okay, there goes the lime. Yeah, a couple squirts. What else? Oh, and kosher. And don't hate me, people, but I use a little bit of white sugar. Not a lot, but you know, tomatoes can have a bitter taste. Well, and then after we mix all those uh, fresh ingredients in there, I throw it onto the stove top. So right now we're gonna cook it up. Um, 
Yeah, you know, a lot of the recipes say, you know, cook it for 15 minutes, some say for 30 minutes. I just kind of let it sit there for 30 to 30 minutes to an hour. I like to have all the the nice peppers and onions and the seasoning kind of seep through my mis mixture. And that way it gives me time to um, get ready with my jars and the rest. Okay, um, I'm sure you guys don't need a tutorial on how to put the salsa in your jars. Um, but I will tell you a quick story. I bought some brand new jars um, this year and um, I was on the ball website and they said you don't need to heat your jars up anymore in the oven and you don't need to boil your lids that um, after extensive research they found that um, that extra step doesn't really do much of anything. So I don't know. But just my opinion, I still do heat my jars up and I still do boil my my lids. Okay, so I've got my jars in my water bath and yes, I'm using my, as you can see, my um, pressure cooker. My husband took my big canner and was boiling skulls in them. So, um, But I don't mind being unconventional. This uh, pressure cooker works just fine. I just uh, stick the jars right on in there, put the cover on, I don't lock it down. Fresh out of the water bath, they are now beginning to pop and they are actually still hot. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Very simple salsa, 100% organic, right from the garden.